Hi, I'm James, and today, having upgraded my network to use a Unify 6 Lite uh, set of access points through the house, I am looking at the options for upgrading laptops to support Wi-Fi 6. Now, this will depend a bit on your exact make and model of laptop. Um, some laptops you may find are too old to have the relevant slots for a Wi-Fi 6 adapter. And what we need is a relatively recent laptop which has a M2 type wireless adapter which is socketed on the mainboard and not actually soldered down to the mainboard itself. This is typical of most laptops for it to be socketed, however some like the Dell Inspiron 13 5301 that I have looked at previously have a soldered down to the mainboard wireless card. And what we are going to be doing is I have purchased a Intel AX200 wireless adapter here, M2 card, which cost me around £20 and we're going to be fitting that to the laptop. Now obviously um, if you don't know if your laptop is capable of taking this, post it in the comments below um, and we can I can look at the make and model and maybe if possible guide you as to whether this is a possible replacement. Great thing to do as well with manufacturers like uh, HP or Dell or Lenovo, you will find that they often have very good service manuals which will guide you through the process, or I have a lot of videos looking at how to replace this, or at least get into the laptop as well. So turning our attention to the laptop itself, and obviously we've already removed the back from this one, but the replacement process, relatively simple, we are going to start just by removing the battery connector to make sure the machine is not powered. I have properly shut down the machine, make sure it's not asleep or anything similar. And what we want to do is just detach the two antenna from the wireless card, unscrew the M2 module, and then, then lift it up and ease it out of the socket. Our replacement card we can then take, slot in, making sure we're not trapping those antenna underneath. screw down, and then the most fiddly part is simply reattaching these antenna where they are quite small and fiddly, but we simply need to line them up with the little sockets. And then press down so that they clip into place like so. And with that done, we're ready to reconnect our battery. And put the back on the laptop to check everything is working as expected. Now having started up our system, uh, because we are running a recent build of Windows 10, there was no need to search out and install drivers. Uh, we already have the adapter selected straight from powering up. We are going to join our Wi-Fi network. And we can see here we get the Wi-Fi just got better. This network uses Wi-Fi 6 for better coverage and performance. And by checking our properties, we can see right here that we are on a Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax network without any driver installation needed. Um, if you do need to find drivers, the best bet is go to the intel.com website where you can find drivers for the AX200 uh, on their site fairly easily through the support section. 
I hope you found this video useful. As I say, if you need any advice on the upgradability of your laptop, just post a comment below. And if uh, you have found this video useful, hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos post as we post them. And thanks for watching.